Hey Keitha, this was definitely the lucky spot last night, but get this, even if the jackpot is really high, even if it's really low, it doesn't matter, your chances of winning are still one in more than 300 million. But if you're saying, hey, play your luck, you could win a billion dollars here, you can come and try. We're at the Grand Central Station and BP here on Merrill Road. Of course, this is just one place that is selling tickets. They open here uh, in just a little bit and it's two bucks to buy a ticket. Most jackpot winners opt to get it in cash. The other option is getting 30 payments over 29 years, which slightly reduces the tax burden. That is good to know just in case you get really lucky. The Mega Millions website was actually busier than it has ever been on Tuesday, according to the lottery. It actually crashed temporarily because so many people were on it to check if they had a winning ticket. Now, there is a darker side to the lottery. An investigation by the Howard Center for Investigative Journalism at the University of Maryland finds there is a disproportionate number of stores that sell lottery tickets in low income areas. And you may know a key promise from lotteries is that the money goes to education. Their investigation also finds lotteries disproportionately benefit college students and wealthier school districts. Now in Florida, the Bright Future Scholarship Program is primarily funded by the Florida Lottery. The drawing is tonight at 11 p.m. Renata Di Gregorio live in Jacksonville. First Coast News on your side.